this is going to be an interesting evening. We're probably gonna need some more whiskey and a beer. So I'm going home. All right, hang on. to we decided to take a little break while we're out here sailing and take that time to say welcome to another episode of sailing SV Sunday. Darla's at the helm and we are heaving too. We had a lot of wind today and we decided that we wanted to stop and take a break. If you're not familiar with the process of heaving too, it's when you you tack the boat but you leave the head sail untouched so that it's back winded and you let the main just kind of go do its thing and, and flop out to the side so that it doesn't give you any speed and you counter the movement of the boat towards windward by turning the helm into the wind so one of the sails the head sail is trying to push off the wind and the helm is trying to steer the boat back into the wind so you just kind of reach an equilibrium where nothing happens and you just kind of sit there sort of a way to stop the boat uh, and if you need to take a break or if there's heavy weather and you don't like it or something's not working good we can show you what the sails look like So there's the back wind of Genoa, there's the main, out doing nothing. Ah. It seems to work pretty good. <laughs> good times. We had a couple of unwanted guests on our boat <laughs> that we had to take care of. Uh, uh, yeah. Maybe we'll just show you, let's just, just watch this. Darla's outside, you can't really see her. We came to the boat and as soon as we walked in, found a large poo. <laughs> and we didn't know what it was. But we also smelled death. So we looked in the bilge and we found more poo. And we start thinking, what in the hell has happened here? So, you know, we gotta dig every single part of this entire boat apart to figure out what it is. So I started digging out in the, in the aft portion of the boat and I found a little bit more remnant and uh, we started kind of you know trying to figure out what it was and about that time I hear screaming <laughs> Me. and she's in the V berth trying to make the bed and I'm not sure what we're going to do about it just <laughs> yet uh, I'm gonna go home. but <laughs> let me show you what is in our boat I don't know if you can see it. Right there. We'll get wrong. Is a very, very large snake. And I don't know what kind of snake. Don't give a crap what kind of snake it is. But, oops, I shouldn't shine that in there. I don't know what kind of snake it is and I don't care, but. I don't know how the hell we're gonna get it out of here. You got any ideas? We're going to uh, maybe procure some neighbors if we can and try to figure something out. 
this is going to be an interesting evening. We're probably gonna need some more whiskey and a beer. So I'm going home. All right, hang on. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Asps. Very dangerous. You go first. <laughs> so Rob is here with a large stick, and he's going to attempt to de snake here, here, us. Here, you want to show him what we got? And you know what? Keep it lit like that for me too, bro. Oh wow. my God. There, yeah. Yeah. So he's not dead. Definitely moving. Light her up for me, like you did. I just want to see. Is it just the one? So just there he seems is. like one. He's not all that big. He seems relatively docile. Let's see if he starts. Right, keep it lit, lit for me. Okay. I'm gonna hook him. I'm gonna try and hook him. Okay. Meep meep. Okay. Meep meep. Okay. Dude, don't don't uh. Okay. Meep meep. He's big boy. Is he? Is he on the ground? Okay. He, no, he went over in this corner or something. Meep meep. Okay, now I gotta poke my head around here. Kind of made me don't recommend that. I feel like he knows. Oh, meep meep. I see him, dude. Okay. I feel like he knows this boat better than us. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a moccasin, actually. I don't know if I see his tail. Let me see the light. There you go. I don't know if I see his tail or it's your the edge of your cushion. So he's coiled up right in the corner, dude. Man, I would love him to crawl into this. Yeah, I mean, that'd be perfect, actually. I know, man. But how are we going to do that? I bet he's at least five feet. <laughs> My heart's racing. I don't know about no, 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 yours. Dude. He's gone. What? What? Where did he go? Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, your things are broke. What? I got it. Not working? No. Oh, now he's pissed. I want to. S yeah, see, that thing doesn't grab me good. Out the hatch. Woo! He's on the deck. Woo! Okay, get hatch. him off the deck now. He's Here, going he's, on. This pole. he's going on. He might be coming back uh, 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 He's coming back this way. Okay, up. I'll get him. I'll get. I'll get him. No. How long do you think he is? Well, he's got to be. I mean, awesome. you can him and grab Holy crap. Ch chuck him, dude, if you can. Like, not towards Wait. me though. <laughs> Look, get that on video real quick. Yeah, <laughs> you got, I got him. It. Yeah. He's ugly. <laughs> there he is, right there, bro. Sure it was a moccasin? I, I don't think it was. So we eradicated the snake. <laughs> it was probably a five foot snake. Uh, we we're still debating whether or not it was a water moccasin or not a water moccasin. I really don't know. But so now we are ripping apart the entire boat, top to bottom, back to front, to make sure that there are no smaller snakes, baby snakes, or another snake, or what have you. It's kind of crazy. Do you enjoy it? No. Yes, you do. So there's another large snake poo right there. So it seems like maybe this snake's been here a while. I don't know. We're going to continue to look for its relatives and hope that they are not here. Two hours later. This is what our boat looks like now after our crazy snake hunt. As you can see, everything is pulled out. Everything is in disarray. But, alas, there are no snakes, there are no baby snakes, everything appears to be secure, so we will proceed as normal. Several days later. We have a snake number two. No snake, Charles! No snake! No snake! No snake! This time he's not in the boat, he's under the steering wheel cover. I reached down to unzip the steering wheel cover and literally grabbed around his body. So now we have to deal with that. What is that like? That's six foot easy, isn't it? So you can see how he could traverse something quite big. Here, zoom in on that. That's our little friend. He's gonna go get on Rodney's boat now. Don't get on this dock! <laughs> yeah, you might wow, that's pretty cool looking. So that was not fun, having those things. I, I think it gave Darla PTSD for a little while. She kept thinking there were snakes everywhere on everything. I still do. 
and when we show up to the boat now we have to you know quadruple check we inspected our boat pretty thoroughly and we determined that there is no way that a snake can get on our boat or sorry inside, inside. of our boat if we have all the hatches closed and the companionway closed that means a couple of pretty interesting things that snake got on our boat while we walked away to socialize or whatnot and we left everything open this that was two weeks before we found the snake <laughs> that means we slept with him in there and then went sailing with him the next day the next day we sailed for five or six hours with that guy in there and then we proceeded to lock him in there while we went and did our ASA 103 104 class right um, and because when we returned he left, <laughs> he left us lots of presents yeah so we lot, had to be locked in there for a long time lots of poops he pooped a bunch and didn't have anything to eat so he's probably pretty hungry that's probably why we so pissed off whenever you found him we got that one off and then and then the other one showed up and obviously he couldn't get in so he just coiled up around our, our binnacle pipes I guess you'd call them tubes the stainless binnacle and uh, that was not very much fun. Then we set out to find a solution to our problem to try to make that not happen again. And we found this stuff called, um, what, what's it called? Serpent Guard. Yeah, we found this stuff called Serpent Guard. It really gets really good reviews, so we're gonna try it. The, it's not harmful for like fish or any other animals or anything. It's just clove oil and soap. Yeah, effectively concentrated. Clo yeah, concentrated clove oil and soap. So it comes in a little bitty bottle and you mix it with a bunch of water and you spray it around. And apparently the snakes are just, they have an aversion to clove oil. They smell it and they'll just go, they'll go to our neighbor's boat, which is fine with us. It's not like we have a, a fear of snakes or anything. It's just one of those things where... It's kind of creepy when it's in yeah, your bed. In, in a cor normal course of a day, you do not think, okay, I'm going to touch a snake now. That's not, you don't <laughs> expect it. It is the exception and not the rule. Of course now, I just kind of assume there's a snake everywhere. It was pretty interesting. We got rid of them. Hopefully they don't come back. If they do, at least this, at least now we'll know what to do about it, right? It's like one of them, you just say, hey, get out of here. <laughs> and if it's inside the boat, you just grab it with our grabby and chuck it out the window. We got screens now for our windows. Yeah, it turns out we had screens for the windows all along. We just didn't know it. Yeah, but didn't. I think we have five or six screens, but only four of those windows. So it's-, it's... No, one goes down there. Well, then we have six or do we just have five? We have five. Okay. We have five screens and five windows. And I, I don't know how counting works. Yeah. So That's... anyway, we have screens now for the windows. So um, we've got that, and then we've got a um, like a mosquito net, um, a no bug net. net, bug net that goes over the companionway hatch. So we can use that, but I usually just drape it over top of the um, the V birth hatch. That way, I can make sure you know no snakes are sneaking in there. Yeah. And then we just put a cover over the. Um, companion way and so now we can you know go socialize have a sundowner with our dock neighbors and not have to worry about snakes crawling inside our boat anymore yeah that flag looks pretty cool America <laughs> so we wanted to give a shout out to Rob one of our dock neighbors for coming to help eradicate the snake from our boat because I wasn't about to help yeah yeah she wasn't gonna help and I didn't really want to do it myself and and that dude's crazy but we knew if we call him he's gonna come down so we called him or I guess sent him a text message or something. A few minutes later, here he comes with a great big stick. And 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 he just walked in the boat, went right down there and went to business. And you know, I'm kind of like, hey man, what about this? What about that? He's like, you know, you don't worry about it. Either. You know, we don't think about those things. We just go, we just do. So it worked out pretty good. Thanks, Rob. That thanks, was fantastic. Rob. And thanks, yep. Karen, for yep. the support. Moral support, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, the lady stood on the dock. <laughs> I don't I don't know, we should have switched, right? You and Karen can fix that thing. And no. Me and Rob will sit over there and drink beer. No. No, anyway. Yeah, thanks Rob, thanks Karen. Thanks. So yeah, I think uh, that's about it for this episode. I mean, the weather's really nice here. The weather is, is the wind is, is perfect for sailing. Uh, it's, mo was this mostly cloudy, partly cloudy? I don't know, have a look. I don't know. I don't know, maybe partly cloudy, but it's not hot and the wind's blowing really good. So we are not gonna sit here talking to you guys. We're gonna use this time to sail. So I guess that's it for this episode. Do you have any parting words for the nice people? No. Stay in school. You can't achieve your goals. What else? Stay out of prison, stay off the drugs. All right, have a good one, later. <laughs>